Chris Crone here with Limitless TV, and today we're talking about the 10 things you should never buy. All right, so today we're talking about 10 things that you shouldn't buy. And I wanna start with this really important preface, which is, why are you buying the things that you're buying? And I want you to think about that question. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are your spending habits the way they are? Because you know what? We live in a world that is trying to keep up with the Joneses, and we're trying to keep up with our neighbors, and we're trying to keep up with our friends. And what we end up doing is we'll, we'll get into credit and we'll leverage debt because we want to advance things that we want today. Here are the top 10 things that people want. People want the home, people want the car, right? So I want the, I want the home that is my dream home. I want a bigger home than I might even be able to afford. I want the nicer thing and I want garages to hold my car, zez. Then I also want to have the boat, right? The sea the boat and those kind of things, maybe the yacht. Then I need the timeshare, right? I'm going to be traveling around the world. I've been to this place. I sat down in the high pressure meeting. I said, yes, I bought it. I got the timeshare, did that one. I want the Rolex. I want the $10,000 watch. I want the plane, right? I want the plane that can take me everywhere that I want to go. I want the motorhome. I did that, right? 43 foot longest brand new motorhome that you could to travel around the world and country. Flat screen. I'm going to have every new gadget, furniture. I want to fill my house with everything that I want. I want the cabin or the second home. Okay, friends, there's nothing wrong with any of these things. I drive a nice car. I live in a nice home. But what I want to talk to you today is about timing and this first question. Why do you want it? There's so many of us that we live in such a consumer-driven society that we want things. And if we really are honest why we want them, the motivations are sometimes scary. We'll actually want things for often wrong reasons and here's what you need to understand. If you buy something for the wrong reason, then what you thought it was going to do is not going to do what you thought that it was. Consumerism is like this gaping hole where you can never have enough, but you can't make your life miserable. You can go deeply into debt. You can have a lifestyle or things that you can't afford. And then sometimes that catches up with the repo man, things being taken, needing to sell things prematurely, needing to get rid of things. And that's called the lessons of life. The things that we want, this consumer world that we live in, they can't satisfy the deeper need, but that also doesn't mean that they're wrong. Sometimes our timing is off. Our timing is wrong. So here's what I want you to think about in relation to this list that I've given you of all of these different things, which is why do you want these things? What will they do for you? How will they increase your quality of life? How will they increase contentment or how do they expand personal peace? Because I can look at it from two different points of view. You know, I live in this 10,000 square foot house next to the golf course, right next to the mountain, 15 minutes up to, you know, my favorite mountain where I like to snowboard. And on the one hand, I can look at all of the money that I've invested in this depreciating asset that actually loses money, just like all the other things on the list. That's what they all have in common is that, by the way, if you ever leverage on those things, you know, the boat goes down in value, the house goes down, the house doesn't go down in value, but it, you've got to pay money and it's not income producing, right? The cabin, same thing. You're not planning on renting it out. So it's actually, it's eating at your wealth. It's taking it away. So instead of looking at these, these items, right, as good or bad, the question is timing and personal fulfillment. When is the right timing to have these things? And what do they do to actually increase your, your personal fulfillment in life? You know, having built this house 10 years ago, having designed it, this house is everything that I've wanted it to be. I'm comfortable with it. Everything feels right. I'm not obsessed with the upgrade or what gets to be different or changed. Same thing like my BMW, right? There's some people totally out there, totally happy driving a Honda or even a beater car, because I've had those too. And, or, and the question is, does the car define me? Is it defining you? Are these things a part of your, your identity? Because for most of us in our consumer world, we're going through an identity crisis. You know, the clothes that I wear, the things that I have. They, I, because I identify with them, they're now part of my identity. And the problem is, is that they're not. They can all be stripped. And when it's gone, who are you? It's like a woman that thinks that all of her wealth is in her beauty. I got news for you, chick. That beauty is going to be lost and gone someday. And no amount of makeup or plastic surgery is going to bring it back. We're all deteriorating. We're all going to die. So why? Friends, those are the 10 things that I don't think people should buy when the timing is wrong. And how do you know when timing is right? When the money is there for it, when the plan is there for it, and when you're ahead of the game instead of struggling to keep up with it. Then on top of that, put it through a different filter of how is this going to actually create greater peace, fulfillment, happiness, or further purpose?
Because if those things are happening, then you're probably making a really, really good choice. You know, I, I have a friend of mine, I wanna end with this thought. My friend of mine said, hey Chris, come over to my place. I, I wanna come play this one video game with you. It's Bro Force. love that game. I was getting together with my friends and he said, okay, you can come over, but you gotta bring the pizza. And I was calculating my time and the project that I was working on. And uh, it's kind of funny, I, was, I, I just decided to do the math because I called the pizza joint, I went by, I picked it up, I brought it over, I was at his place. And it cost me $700 of my time to buy $40 of pizza. And the reason why I wanna bring that up is because when you start making more money, when you're succeeding at real estate or following the advice that I give you on this channel here, if not, you need to subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll tell you all about it, is because I've got friends that own planes because the cost of losing a day, waking up early, going through security, standing in long lines, having them pad you down left and right, putting you in the monkey chair in the very back of the room, pinched between two individuals, getting there. Like, you can take an entire day doing the airport run, and my buddy that has a personal plane, he just gets on the plane, he flies private, he's not going commercial anymore, and it's because he can multitask or make different use of his time. So never, ever, ever judge someone because of what they have or what they don't. Well, they should buy this. I can't believe that they bought that. And exit that. And instead get into the game of what will bring happiness and personal fulfillment. Make sure that whatever you're buying, the thing is never tied to personal identity. And then honor yourself with proper timing. And if you do that, friends, then any of these 10 never should buys could be 10 have to buys if you put it through that filter. Kind of strange when you think about the fact that I've got a belief that I can have it all and that everything goes my way. And, you know, I look at some of the really fine things in life that I'm really enjoying and it has come down to timing and discipline and knowing when to delay gratification and also knowing how to hit fast forward to velocitize my results and my money to accelerate, step into exponential, exponential growth. If you want to learn more about how you can hit the fast forward button in your life, go ahead and click the link up here and let me and my team share with you a bunch of different ideas of how you can start creating your wealth today too.